shows where those keys are. Where's the keys? Anna. Welcome back to the city set everyone. We gotta do a little bit of a uh, bee winterizing. We might be a little late on it. I hope I'm not too late. I hope there's still something good happening out there. Yeah, careful. So you can see. So as you can see, we have a bunch out front here. And then, unfortunately, we got a whole bunch down here. So what I'm going to do is wrap some foam board around here. I stopped and got some from my parents. My parents got a hold of me because... They actually went out and checked their hive earlier this week once we got the cold weather after that really warm week and they had said that their hive was entirely dead. Uh, they had to pull everything out and uh, there was nothing left. So oh, it got me really nervous. I did see fresh bees out front because I brushed it off the other day. I brushed it off earlier this morning just to kind of see how it's going and pushed a couple more out. So I do believe we have some bees that are surviving. Whoops. So I do think that we have some bees surviving in there. We really gotta get the foam on there and hopefully that my strategy of kind of pinning them back here and stopping a lot of the wind uh, has really helped. So I'm gonna go get that measured out. We gotta get some stuff done. Twenty by sixteen. Can you remember that? Mm -hmm. Can you remember twenty? Maybe. 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 All right. Let's go look at that foam. So my brother has told me that every year he's only put tar paper on his hive, and he's had them over winter. Now, what I saw on my friend's channel, Old Red and Farm, they did a thick foam, like insulation foam. I believe it was our ten. <laughs> what are you doing back there? breaking up my foam. So my parents actually had some pieces of that laying around. I'm gonna piece together what I need to put on that thing. Hopefully that's enough with the fact that we hid that away from a lot of the wind uh, to help them make it through the winter. I'd be really, really bummed if I didn't actually keep bees through the winter. I guess I would really fail as a beekeeper if you don't keep them alive, right? So I'm gonna grab foam. We're gonna see if we make this thing work.
Grandpa Who Show is fun. Why do you know bees don't have TVs? Have you ever seen a TV in a beehive? Maybe they sit at our window and watch TV. Maybe they're hanging with they're the honey nut Cheerio guy. What? Maybe they don't like Pink Panther. Have you ever seen any? Have you ever seen any bees at our window when we're watching TV? Yep. No, you haven't. Sure I have. You're just lying. They're always at the window and they're going, hey, watch the bee movie. Watch the bee movie. Yeah, bees can't talk. Man, you are not giving them enough credit. Bees are incredible. They can do all sorts of stuff. Hello, bees. Is it this The balance beam. Is this a Okay. No, that one's fine. I got to have that for the bees. Oh. No, I want mine. Hey, those two. Actually, this one is no longer... Uh, ah! You can no longer walk on this one. Well, actually you can, except it's going to be a balance beam in my amusement park. Oh. This is the kind of stuff I have to deal with all the time. Alright, so now we got our pieces roughly cut into position. I made a shorter one for the front. I made two sides that I had to kind of combine a couple pieces because I had six individual little pieces. Uh, but we made it work. A little bit of tape that'll stop the wind from getting in there. Hopefully this R10 is enough insulation to kind of help keep that hive warm uh, all throughout winter. Plus, I'm thinking if I did everything right, I got a wind block behind me. I got a wind block in front of me. And then I have the new fence back there. So really there's not like a lot of wind coming through here. Uh, you know, combine that with the fact that we're putting this foam on here. And I think that should be enough to winterize these bees. Hopefully, hopefully they make it through to the spring. Otherwise that would be really disappointing. Go on, get your other foot on there. You can do it. All right. It's all you. Whoa! I think this, this is a safe ride for my amusement park. Especially since Everett stole the one piece holding it all together. <sighs> well, it just held up to Dad. If it can hold up to Dad, it should be able to hold up to you guys. When I didn't do it, Allison started chasing me around at recess. Well, I think you're very smart. I think a lot of people in your school like you because they're always saying hi to you everywhere we go. So I think you might have been okay at it, but if you're not comfortable speaking in front of a bunch of people, then it's probably not something you want to do if you have to make a speech. And also it said that student council meetings would be during recess. Oh, you didn't want to miss recess? Well, I didn't know that until after I didn't run for student council. Oh. Well, you don't have to run for everything. You don't have to do everything. Just do the things that you want to do that you're comfortable with doing. Now, Austin and Brooklyn are going to be mad at me for the rest what of my life. They won't be mad at you for the rest of your life. I Nobody can stay mad at you. You're too nice. Too sweet. Okay. It's okay. You got all the other stuff going on. You got honors. You got Girl Scouts. What's it safe? You got all your little crafting. You got a lot of stuff. Book writing. Learning a lot. It's really tricky when you're working by yourself. Sometimes you gotta get creative. So I got some rakes, I got some boards. Let's see if we can get this stuff to stick up there so we can uh, wrap some tape around.
Oh, I tell you what, I feel better about having that foam on there. I'm just hoping I wasn't too late. I have a real fear uh, after hearing my parents lost their entire hive that I might have gotten it winterized too late, which would be just totally disappointing because it's something I've wanted to do for so long now. And the struggle here at the end would just oh, it'd be such a massive bummer. It is what it is. I even though I get up at three in the morning to go to work, you see how dark it is already. Like I just got home. I literally got home, went inside, dumped some stuff off, and was like, "All right, I gotta go try to get that foam cut." And then, you know, kids come outside, running back and forth, getting everything gathered, measuring, cutting, taping all that stuff, and we're already out of daylight. So <laughs> this is how many of my nights end after this daylight savings time change thing. Is that there's just no time. Uh, so. Is there anything else that you guys do at all of my fellow northern beekeepers? <laughs> what else do you guys do to win and your hives? I'm thinking that foam board is pretty good. Like I said, I really designed it to try to keep it out of the wind of the winter wind, the crosswind everywhere, uh, by putting it back in kind of this little pocket corner area. I was thinking that would really be helpful as far as blocking a lot of wind from getting them to. I think wind does a lot more damage than just the actual cold. I'm not an expert, so I can't say for sure, but I think that's how I feel. That's how I feel inside that the wind does more damage than the actual coldness. <sighs> but we'll see. Well, that's it. That's my attempt at winterizing the hive. Hopefully it's all right. Remember guys, be bold, grow bold, and as always, we'll see you in that very next video.